Thank you, Sam. All right. Oh, God, it's cloudy. Guys, it's cloudy. I'm taking a chance. Taking a chance here from glorious Cameron, North Carolina. It is cloudy, though. Give a wibble hibble. Cliff Powers, Alicia, yo, yo. What's up? How am I? How are you? You better put a shirt on or get the hell out of here. They already starting. They already starting with the bullshit. Whew, guys, what's up? Starting off our weekend hot here. Man, we've been having some uh, some issues here at House Hardy. We're having a, a bit of a streak of bad luck. Hopefully it does not carry on to our stream life. But let me tell you, IRL is going through it. IRL is going through it today. And I see the Jimmy Ray show here in the chat. I'm sure he can attest to that. Jimmy Ray show is supposed to be sitting right here next to me right now. It is supposed to be me and Sister Abigail. Not today. It was supposed to be me and the Jimmy Ray show. Yes, the Jimmy Ray show coming in hot from the West Coast. All the way on a plane to the middle of nowhere. Cameron, North Carolina. We were supposed to be at the airport right now. It's, it's, I don't even know. Y'all can ask him. Some bullshit happened with his flight. He ain't gonna be here now till freaking midnight, bro. We live like an hour from the airport. Oh, I see all them new remotes. Yes, because we made partner. We got all this cute shit. Look at them little animated cute little Revies hype. Yeah, I love it. It looks just like me, right? <laughs> What's poppin'? Dracoana, Holly, and yes, there they are. Max Twister Riptide, Geo Shades, Crystal Clear, Crystal Clear, that's a cute name. Subscriber to House Hardy. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate you guys being here. Now, like I said, I, I hope, I hope it's gonna be I. Right. Matt is here, as you can tell by the lack of costume, the lack of patience. Matt is back in the house. And he will be here doing a AMA, or as I got, I like to call it a Q and A, right? He, he gets he gets hot and, and funky, fresh, and hip with it. AMA, ask Matt anything. So you guys can go ahead. Oh my God, I love all these emotes, you guys. You're making me so happy. <laughs> They're so cute, guys. I worked so freaking hard on these emotes because you got to have them in three different sizes. And then I had somebody on a, I got somebody animate them. I mean, it was just it was a process, bro. It was a process handmade all of these cute little emotes emojis whatever y'all want to call them shaggy what's up sam duplay i don't see pronouns in my bio but i know sam sam is in here our mod sam number one mod number one mod jimmy ray jimmy ray got bumped today jimmy ray got bumped today <laughs> oh, there he is he's there can you get a, can you get a jam he's just gonna kick through the door and not respond i love that right so like i said Due to the lack of costumes and the lack of patience, Matt is in the house and he is about to come in. I should probably change the should probably change the music up. He's coming in hot. He ain't coming in hot with a bang, but he's coming in hot. Looks like he got some shit to say. You got some shit to say? No, but I do need to know. I need passwords. You need passwords. Yeah, I don't have. Them. That, that's a personal matter. We'll get to that. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Because I was sending you a message back that didn't send. But the internet doesn't connect. The internet is not connecting, apparently. Well, uh, hopefully it is for you guys. Woo, spooky dookie crew. What's up? So, not wearing a costume today. Only wear those on the filler episodes, which is when it's just me. But today, it is not just me. It is me. It is Sister Abigail. And it is the one and only. <laughs> Matt Hardy, who just went away. Bro, he's, he's going. He's a, oh, he's here. He's here, guys. He just needed some, he just needed some applause. There we go. Know this man, man. He won't come out until he feels love. Cool. Just knock down every light on your way in. Cool. Love that for me. So Thanks. Put a chair in before, so don't have to. Put a chair in before. Hi, Barty. Well, uh, Barty's here. Everybody's here. Barty's here. Barty, say hi. <laughs> say hi. You got your chicken. You and Abigail. Barty, will you get out of here? Like, my, like that I ain't made enough of a mess, right? You got to come in here and make a mess too now? All right, Barty. Go to Grandpa. Bye bye. Right, grandpa's waiting on Bye bye. You. Here we go. Here we go. Woo. All right, guys. So I don't know if I mentioned it. You can submit your questions through the chat, right? You can submit them on Discord, exclamation point Discord for that link. You can also uh, submit them via Twitter. But I imagine if you're here, you'd probably just rather do them through the chat. We got keyboards falling. By the way, look at this. 
Look at this. I'm about to censor your whole ass face right now. You're beautiful. Good. But look, no. but look at the censored. Guys, I was thinking I was going to do a pin boss, uh, not a pin boss. Why do we have this? Why is um, this here? I was, <laughs> okay, uh, first of all, know. it's pink, okay? Well, I was pink. thinking we were, yes, I was thinking we were going to do a music stream and like take requests from you guys and do music, but look at my hands, right? Okay, first of all, don't look too close because I don't have nails on right now. So embarrassing. Ew. Okay. Uh, am I even a woman? Okay. But look. You are. I can confirm. <laughs> I thought this was a full size tee, but look at my hand. This is a baby ass keyboard. So, I mean, if we do a music stream with this, we're gonna have to, you know, accelerate on, on King Maxwell's music lessons here because my fingers will not fit. But anyway, that just fell over. Love that, great, great. <laughs> but enough about me. How are you? I, I'm good, I'm good. I'm trying to get everything done. So it, I'll tell you, uh, anybody out there, if there's anyone in Western North Carolina in that area, I am appearing tomorrow in Hickory, North Carolina. And they just, uh, they have a screen at this big convention center. They have uh, some some areas where they can promote the signing. So I was just asked to make a very special video for it. So I was doing it, and I found out our internet that goes to the basement, my phone isn't connected now. So I couldn't send you the message back. I couldn't send that. Oh, no. So that, that's why I sent you the personal message. But we'll handle that after the fact. <laughs> because right now it is stream time. And uh, I just went and I did this little promo. I was trying to send it back. That's why I was lost. I said, I'll be there in like five minutes. Whoops. So trying to fulfill everyone what? we have we have uh, people coming in late i'm going to be getting up it's a, it's a crazy night it's a crazy night why don't you tell me about it? i've mentioned it a little bit here our, our our mod issues our irl mod issues jimmy of course one of the mods of house hardy yeah IRL, irl and this is frfr so uh <laughs> so uh jimmy a friend of ours who is one of our moderators is actually coming over and he does a lot of work in uh Get is out it, of here dinosaur is please he, is he an it guy is that how he's described yeah he's like a computer guy he's a computer guy an it guy whatever and uh he is going to build a very special computer so it will uh, enhance our capabilities of streaming downstairs doing pinball streaming pinball outside. streams guys you know i'm uh, so excited a yeah. whole dedicated computer just for pinball because you know we were kind of limited there yeah. in uh, in our camera setup you could only have so many cameras to we go to a computer so we had one good camera and the rest were kind of like little shitty cameras so now we're going to have a full on dslr heavy pinball stream coming oh. if jimmy can ever get his ass over that here that sounds great yeah. Uh, so long. Long story short, uh, we're gonna have the most badass pinball shoots that there's ever been in the history of Twitch. Apparently, <laughs> you know, it's not gonna be some of that boring pro wrestler has one camera just on them, and you see the screen or whatever. It's gonna be cameras everywhere. Everywhere. Cameras galore. Everywhere. Exponential cameras. Everywhere. So Jimmy is coming to build this for us right this weekend. And originally, he was gonna be getting in earlier today. So we uh, were up in Raleigh. We had a couple appointments. We were doing that, and we we're gonna scoop him up and pick him up, and bring him here. But then it turns out it's fine, and it's uh, the airports in 2021 after the world has ended. So everything changes all the time. If don't get so out, now we have learned. Oh, the kids are going to get it. Uh, so now we've learned that he was uh, redirected right off the jump, and he flew somewhere else. And he's coming from the West Coast as is anyway. So now he's not getting in till midnight. And I was going to originally leave to go to the signing at 6 a.m. But somebody has to get him, and somebody's got to watch the kids, and she's got to be here with the baby. So... I'm going to end up going to get him. So I'm going to try and sleep a little bit before. I'm going to get up and I'm going to get him. And then I'm going to take my ass to the signing then or still get up at six. I'm hopefully going to get enough sleep to be able to uh, be super friendly to everyone tomorrow. And I will. I promise you I will. <laughs> Brock, but, what a beer. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to House Hardy. Welcome to the fam. Hickory, North Carolina. I'm going to be there tomorrow at the Hickory Convention Center. It's a huge convention deal. And uh, I'll be there at 9 a.m. starting at 9 a.m. And it could run to like three or four. I promise. I'm going to stay there until all the people in the line that want to take pictures and get autographs are deleted. You know, I'll make sure to delete each and every one of you. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to fulfill your needs. So with that being said, yeah, it's been a crazy day. We've been switching uh, the order of things and, and trying to adjust our schedules. Just make it work. But that's what life's about, right? I agree. You gotta, Life is about you adjusting your schedule. Suze. S-U-Z 45. Uh, a hydrate. No, I hydrate. Shoot, I left my freaking con con what is that? Conservative gaming. <laughs> Great job on the ladder match Wednesday. Ooh, yeah, we got a lot of AEW yeah, yeah. talk lot to of talk. talk about here. A lot of AEW talk to go down, right? So, uh, yeah, I had a little got bit a of tea there. tiki bar over here. You got a water. You got a soda. What that's else how, you got? That's how I like it. <laughs>
There you go. There's so, the hydrate. All right. So th there's a the hydrate. So there's the water. I had just a little bit of that Pepsi finish, so I, I might need a little caffeine kick later. Max, thank yeah. you for the events. Yes, cheering on, cheering on the ladder match on AEW Dynamite go, yeah. two year anniversary show. Got oh, and run a hype train. Uh -oh. Nice. All right, guys. If we get to level five, this is not gambling. If we get to level five, it will trigger a giveaway. All right, we have here. Woo, Holly! Thank you. A haunted dollar bill signed by Big Money Matt to the winner. If we trigger this giveaway, which uh -oh. is triggered by level five hype train. Let's see. Maybe we can do it. Let's try. No, no pressure. No and, pressure. And you did say that's not gambling, right? Don't panic. Yeah, that is not gambling, by the way. Don't come at us, Twitch. All right. We got all these. We're partner now, mm. so we got all these partner restrictions. Don't panic, yeah, Flip. Yeah. Thank you for the yeah, follow. Yeah, yeah, Guys, yeah, yeah. another big announcement that we didn't even get to yeah. yet. We were going to announce it on a pinball stream, actually, and we were going to do a pinball stream. Oh, this is a big one. Either tonight or tomorrow, and we were not able to because <laughs> if you watch the first few minutes of this show, right? Max, thank you. Still on this hype train. We are now team members of the Pinball Network. So cool. So happy to be a part of it. And uh, we got some good stuff coming. Yeah, that's part of what inspired us to up our pinball game. You know, we was going to do it anyway, but we were like, well, damn, now we now we really got to up it. Whoa, Lost Wolfling. Love that name. I got a little Wolfling. He's probably lost in the living room right yeah. now, wondering what we're doing. <laughs> Thank you for that sub. Welcome to House Hardy. Welcome to the fam. Level one complete. Love to see it. Thank you. Thank you. So lots of good stuff. Oh, Spazzy Mac, 88, it's a, Pasha check. Boom. Uh, it's a great step, and I'm super excited to be part of the Pinball Network. Uh, I'm starting to enjoy and appreciate pinball more and more, so I'm super hyped that we get to... Uh, partner up with the pinball network that's so cool nice so nice cool. all right aew dynamite ladder match yeah oh but i gotta tell you one more thing even Ooh. before that when i went outside to upload this video to the promoter that i'm appearing for tomorrow in hickory mm. of course hickory uh of course uh wolfie followed me on because you said wolf, wolfing wolfling earlier Lost and, wolfling. <laughs> and he started running to the mailbox like right off the jump he just let's go get the mail, and did I said, even, "No, I got to go in." Over here, this kid uh, will, he, he will run care. and grapple. He, he's with like no shoes on. He's like Jeff and I. I love it. <laughs> it makes me so happy. Matt Damon, I with love the it. Sub. Thank you. He'll, for that sub. he'll run across gravel. He'll run through pine straw, and I know. I mean, he hadn't even been in the woods, but I mean, he would like run the through iconic. poison ivy. Just like Jeff Big and I money, would. Matt Hardy. He's going to have a good immune system. That son of a bitch is going to live forever. <laughs> and be invincible. Yes. That, indestructible. That son of a bitch, your child. <laughs> As I'm sitting right here, you piece of shit. Oh, I didn't mean that oh, way. Oh, no, panic. Merely an expression. Oh, right. I'm sure that's what it was. Merely an expression. Thank you for those gifted subs coming through with the pinball oh, love, the insane. pinball community here. We love it on Twitch, guys. We've got some good stuff coming. Thank you so much, brother. So, yeah. Max, thanks. Woo! All I'm right, what's up, Max? Is that our buddy Max? Max MF from the UK. There he is. Yeah. From from the lovely England. Oh, Holly just answered that question for you. <laughs> oh, there you have it. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Holly. So yeah, this last Wednesday, can you believe it? The two-year anniversary of All Elite Wrestling. The two-year anniversary of AEW, and it just feels so so good to be back in front of people. You know, for my day one there. From day one ish, you know, I was in the uh, pandemic empty arena era. Kicking off the and pandemic that, that, that arena. That was rough. That was rough, man. I may have been in the first pandemic show. But you know, one thing I can claim to fame, you know, AEW, they sell out every week now. Mm. You know, the very first show when I came to AEW and I headlined by debuting at the end of the event, they couldn't draw any fans. They didn't have a one. Nobody was in the arena. The next week, I worked, I worked against Chris Jericho in a one-on-one -on -one promo, 15 minutes. Nobody was even in the building. It was Chris. But look what I did to those ticket sales. They're selling out every week now. You know, when I got there, they didn't sell a single ticket. <laughs> and now they sell out every week. You know what? You ain't lying. You ain't lying. I mean, you know, the truth is the truth. Where's the lie? I mean, we're, we ain't going to talk about the whole pandemic thing that was happening, but, you know, the truth is the truth. <laughs> you know, when I first started, they didn't sell any tickets. And now they fill up the house every single week. Something that is true that I will say that I am very proud of as well. Uh, the highest rated segment, because that's a big deal now. Ratings are a huge deal because that is the thing that drives advertisers and drives the amount of money your company makes. And, you know, especially the diehard fans, they address it and talk about it all the time. Oh, is this guy draws? This guy rating this, that, the other thing. So uh, in Ram on Rampage last Friday, mm -hmm. the main event of myself 
uh, managing Jack Evans versus Orange Cassidy, furthering the Matt Hardy Orange Cassidy feud, was the highest rate segment of the show. Ooh. You know, and that was even like Daniel Bryan and Nick Jackson kicked off the show. And that is typically and historically on Rampage, the highest rate segment. So that is very cool that it came up at the end and there was a lot of interest in the whole Matt Hardy, Jack Evans, Orange Cassidy deal. This week on Dynamite, the highest rated segment of the show was the final segment, which was the ladder match, which also contained Matt Hardy and Orange Cassidy. Nice. Continuing the story. So uh, those are things that aren't quite bullshit, like the whole ticket explanation thing I was giving you earlier about the pandemic. Mm. But, you know, that that is very <laughs> cool that we were both involved in those segments that were the most watched of the show. Love that. Alejandro, both as viewers and up? demo. Brian, everybody, we got so many new faces in the chat today, man. Thalia, thank you guys for being here. Wow. Th Lady Lobo, thank you for them subs. Pronouns in my bio, Sam, there he is. Thank you so much for all the love, guys. Ooh, we're right. close. We got 30 seconds left. Less than 30 seconds. Look at that right there. So, uh, where, where's, uh, there's Jimmy Ray, right? There he he's is. He's sitting there on his phone. I see him. He's sitting there on his phone. He's sitting there on his phone. I know he's not on his computer. Well, maybe he is on his laptop. I don't I'm think, sorry. I don't think he is. You're right. <laughs> Oh, me. Hi. Nice. All right, man. Come All on. Right. Get on over here, Jimmy Ray. Get on over here, man. <laughs> All right. We got a level one. So no giveaway this time. But next time. Next time. We'll get it hot next time. Look at that. Max MF Brand. There he is. Did a little gift, man. What's up, Max? How you doing, buddy? Oh, we got someone so, from Hickory in here. What's the prices up to the promoter? So we'll, we'll, oh, yeah. we'll know that tomorrow for sure. Uh, yeah, honestly, God, I mean, I don't even know that until I walk in the door. So uh, I'm very excited to, to be there. Very excited to see you. And I hope anyone from Hickory and the surrounding areas end up showing up. It's, <laughs> a, it's about a two and a half, three hour drive from here. So I'm going to be, Dalton. Uh, I'm going to be putting it in the wind. Dalton asked, did you get a new pinball machine for your anniversary, Matt? <laughs> Uh, Where's my new pinball machine? <laughs> I, I did not get a new pinball machine. I was very disappointed in my wife. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, let's let's talk about the uh, you know the the two year anniversary dynamite. What a what a great show! Kicked off with that eight man tag, hell of a show. I thought from you know top to bottom it was very good. It showed the variety of all elite wrestling and and so many you know vets fused with new acts and also established current acts. So. Very, very cool. Uh, I loved watching the match with the Elite. And it's so great to see Adam Cole over on AEW and getting the chance to shine like he's shining right now. Versus Daniel Bryan, my old nemesis, Christian Cage, and uh, the Jurassic Express. Can't trust any of those guys, for sure. I don't even know Bryan Danielson. You can't trust him. And I think I called him Daniel Bryan a minute ago. Uh, old habits are hard to break. <laughs> but Bryan Danielson. Thank you, Max. So, uh... With that being said, it's going to be really interesting to uh, see what happens over the course of the next year because this year, and especially like the last six months, AEW has grown tremendously. It has expanded tremendously, and our roster is crazy. It is so, so stacked, and it's so interesting. I know there's a lot of people out there that have also brought up the point about, hey, why is Leo Rush trying to do Big Money Matt's gimmick? What? Because it's something similar along the same lines. No. The iconic Big but, Money Matt Hardy. Yeah, you can't be the iconic. But nobody big is going to be Matt. the iconic Big Money Matt. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, there's going to be there's going to be an acknowledgement of this stuff on screen before it's all said and done. So don't you worry. Things aren't getting uh, messed up or confused. And no, this guy isn't going to radiate my talent because, like, I'm shoot rich. He's not. That's it. <laughs> Bottom line. Okay, so. Uh, Holly, thank you for them, Ben. As this as this night went on, you know, we did the casino ladder match, which has a little bit of a different feel to it. Obviously, a little bit like a Royal Rumble, because you never know who the next competitor to enter in the match Wonderful. is going to be. So uh, it started off, yeah. for those who didn't see it, it started off with uh, Orange Cassidy and with Pac, which I thought was a, a pretty entertaining beginning. And then Andrade came in, which was cool. And then fourth was me. And I came in there just like an old school ladder match. I saw somebody say... Matt, it looked like you were coming in on the video game the way you first started tagging. Because I just grabbed the ladder and started using it as a battering ram. You know, nice. wham, wham, wham. You know, old school, man. That's how, that's how it worked back in uh, 98, 99. That's how we did it back then. You know, so some things don't change. You know, the styles may change a little bit, but the, the yeah. formula always remains constant. Uh, got in there, did my stuff. It became, uh, you know, now four guys in the ring. Uh, after that, we had Lance Archer, who entered, who is really a monster. 
a hell of a big, strong, scary guy, a legit monster. And then John Moxley, who came in, and he's just insane on every level. Like whether he's in front of the red light, in front of the camera, insane, backstage, insane. Just just a crazy different cat. Oh, I did it too. Okay. All that shit talking I did, I mm-hmm. did it too. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then lo and behold, who was the Joker? Who was the Joker? Oh, oh yeah, the guy, the, you know, the little Nas X or whatever. The, the little Nas X? The fucking thing, you know, he came out like, it was like the fucking, you know, came out like with a horse I can't riding on my track there. I, <laughs> I can't believe you just compared Hangman Adam Page to Little Nas X. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, right? It's like got a cowboy gimmick, right? I, I, yeah, Old Town Old Town Road. Old Town Road. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I see we. <laughs> <laughs> Where you're drawing this Old Town Road, comparison, but I, they're not really compared at all. Old Town <laughs> they're not really Road, comparable. Adam Page. So my my biggest heat, and sh- probably should be your biggest heat, is he that son of a bitch stole our first quarter earnings. Oh, I remember. You know. I remember. He had the nerve to not be uh, bamboozled by your fuckery. <laughs> But, you know, he cost us a little bit that first quarter earnings. I mean, there were a couple of times, instead of feeding Maxwell and Wolfie Five Guys, I had to feed them, uh, you know, McDonald's cheeseburgers. <sighs> wonderful. You know? Holly, not to... wonderful. <laughs> that, that, that is not wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. <laughs> Maxwell, Maxwell really is an elitist when it comes to the burgers, right? Yeah. He wants his Five Guys burgers. Yeah, he wants a $9 cheeseburger. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, y'all been, wants... been a Five Guys and you know, a $9. Kids you know, cook, cook with peanut oil. He said, I got to have that peanut oil, Dad. He said, I can't eat this cheap McDonald's stuff, brother. Shoot, man. He's taking a gimmick for real. Mm-hmm. He's out here, Bruce, big, the barber beefcake in you. Big Money Maxo is for real, for real. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> it's real to him. It's real to him. He's trying to get a match, too. <laughs> but yeah, uh, then they came in, and then obviously the Joker was uh, hanging around Adam Page, which he got a hell, of a, rela- a hell of a reaction live there on the show. Very, very cool. And uh, he ended up winning the match when it was all said and done. But one thing I can say, I I did let my temper get the best of me during that match. I think I could tell. Because uh, at the very end, that son of a bitch, that lazy bum, that no good for nothing, laid back mimicker who makes a mockery of pro wrestling, Orange Cassidy, he'd finally gotten under my skin enough. Mm. You know, because I dealt with him throughout the match and I'd whipped his ass the whole match. So finally, I just wanted to put him away. I took him out there. I pounded his head in. After I pushed him and Moxley off the ladder, I put him on the table, and I went old school Hardy Boy. You know, I said, Ho! Fear is only a four-letter word. And I, like, dropped his ass from the top of the table. You know what I mean? Mm, Mr. Irish Lad. Put said, him through the table. Says that uh, Andrade fall looked nasty. They did. It was right beside me. He almost crashed onto me. It did look very nasty. And I'll be honest, I had no idea that was happening beside me. So it even looked It looked all the more nasty. So yeah, he uh he survived. Somehow uh, everybody survived. And people were comment from Mr. Irish said, Matt Hardy versus Leo Rush in a money grab match. Hey. There might be. But how's he gonna put up money? I mean, I got money to grab. Does does Leo Rush have money to grab? Delete! Delete! LBO. He might have deleted his uh, WWE money already. Kella, thank you, brother. <laughs> but yeah, there were a lot of people that like, uh, it's weird, like, it, as you get older. Whoa! Uh, as you get older, it's easier to trigger people. It's less, for me, it's, it's, it's uh, less easy to be triggered, for sure. But... <laughs> So many people, especially online, like, oh, my God, I can't believe you're still doing that stuff. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you okay? How's your ass? How's your back? How's your neck? How's my your, ass. How's my work? back. My dad just like that. <laughs> Isn't that a song? <laughs> my neck. No, I know it's a My there. neck. My, my back. back. My pussy and my crack. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd have to say it a little different. <laughs> my neck. My back. My ass and my knee. I don't know. But all my stuff was okay. All my stuff was okay after doing this 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 daredevil <laughs> leg drop off the top of the ladder. You know, I did a daredevil leg drop. How's your ass? How's, how's my neck? How, my, how's your head? <laughs> no complaints yet. 
How's your head? Oh, do you want me to ask about <laughs> how's your head? Yeah, no, no complaints <laughs> yet, guys. So, uh, so yeah, so we did that. Uh, I took myself out, but I, and unfortunately, I allowed that damn criminal, that crook, hangman Adam Page, who's still spending Matt Hardy money, mm. who's still spending the money of Maxwell and Wolfie and Barty and Evie. Blasphemy. <sighs> He's a terrible human being, a real pos. So uh, he won the match, and uh, and that was the uh, the main event of the show. But I thought it was a hell of a main event. Uh, and most people out there really really enjoyed it, and the feedback to it was great. And it was so cool that people are so excited about it. And I heard a lot of people. This was like a common thought that I heard many many times. People said it was the best ladder match that has taken place uh, on AEW television Ooh, thus far. Nice. That's Browser a nice compliment. With the five stream loots packs. Thank you so much, guys. You can get your own stream loots cards at househardytwitch.com. That's right. Uh, so yeah, the the two two year anniversary went down, uh, and then also it's Friday night, so uh, don't forget it's Rampage. Uh, I'll probably make a, a tweet about that. I have to remember. There's a hell of a rampage coming on tonight too, with uh, four matches. Once again, it is the two year celebration of AEW Week, so to say, and they're gonna do the special. Oh, there's Pikachu. Mm -hmm. excited i uh also there were uh, a, a few familiar faces there thank you max in uh in, in pennsylvania as well in philadelphia mm. uh blue mini was there oh nice yeah he was there i saw uh devin storm crowbar mm -hmm. he was there as well you know i'd spoke to him a little bit he's still back doing his thing right now he uh he he's a chiropractor like in, in a shoot job oh, and wow. he does roll well with that but he's also still doing some wrestling on the side and one thing that uh one thing I thought was cool is that they like put them uh Yes the the blue mini and the, the crowbar Devin Storm men who have history in Philadelphia wrestling, yes. They put them in very prominent positions on the show to perform and looked at in a very respectable mantra, yes. And that is one thing that Papa Cohen has a very good habit of doing. Taking people that are veterans or legends or respected. He has a very good eye. He has a very good judge of putting them in a role that they are respected within. Yeah, so that has happened. You shall see some of those men appearing on future AEW programming. Yes. Oh, we got to shake it out of him. We got to shake it out of him. Oh, 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 right. oh. Okay. He's back. He's back. I'm back. Thank you. Thank you for shaking, <laughs> shaking, shaking me up. Oh, Ads99 asked, do you know anything about the Owen Hart tournament? Uh, that's a, a very good question. And I do not know any of the details about the Owen Hart tournament, except that I have heard it is going to be very good and going to be very special. I know they're going to do the memory of Owen Hart justice, they which it, right? is so cool. Yeah. Of course, you know, Owen is like, Owen is definitely one of the trailblazers. What is going on here? <laughs> Tanya, those are for my solo streams. When Matt's not here, we can call him on the phone. But he's right here. Uh, hi. So call me, maybe. Hi, Tanya. I'll return that card, huh? So uh, Owen Hart is one of the guys who is truly a a trailblazer in pro wrestling. He was a, a groundbreaker in so many ways. He introduced a, a style which, you know, is very similar, like, to the modern style of AEW, the way he combined acrobatics and, you know, athleticism. Also, too, he was very aggressive uh very much like uh his strikes were very strong uh owen was amazing great dude you know i was very blessed to get to work with him some as an extra i worked with him quite a few times as just an extra before i had a contract and then i worked with him after i had a contract with wb which was very cool myself and posture check from the queen posture queen check 1311 yep posture check queen <laughs> so uh, myself and my brother had a, a great run of house show matches against Owen Hart and Jeff Jarrett, which was so cool. But considering the tragedy that happened, you know, we were there on that night, and it's still, still looking back, it's so hard to believe that night was even real. And I remember we were the match on Sunday Night Heat. It was myself and Jeff mm. versus Dustin as Gold Dust and Blue Meanie when they were teaming. 
and we had a, a match against those guys. And it was right when we first started with Michael Hayes, so we were we were pretty hot, and we, we were getting used, you know, in a in a really nice capacity. Had a match against those guys. We came back, and I remember we had to make a long drive that night. I want to say it was like from Kansas City to St. Louis or something along those lines. It was four hours, four hours plus. And we were going to go ahead and shower, and we are going to try and get on the road shortly after the show had started. So we were trying to move on and, and get out of there quick so we could make this drive and get in to our rooms. So I'll never forget coming out of the shower, and Brian Christopher, God rest his soul, who's not here as well, I remember him coming in there and says, Oh, my God. Owen just fell out of the roof, you know, fell, fell out of the top of the building. And I was like, what? You know, which it just didn't seem real at all. And then I remember coming out and just the, the pandemonium, the commotion and is getting dressed. I remember seeing his his body come out on the stretcher, like going out to the ambulance. And like it's a, it's a, you know, a vision that is just burnt in my mind. So, so crazy. And then as we left, we got on the road after all this had happened and they got him out of there and we'd start driving a little bit and I'll never forget myself and Jeff and Michael Hayes we were in a Lone Star Steakhouse eating you know between Kansas City and St. Louis and we got a call and Michael hung up the phone and like was kind of lost for words and said oh my god they just got the word from the hospital oh Owen Hart's god. passed away so terrible I mean like it, it's one of those moments you know it was just like so powerful the way it's burned in your head mm. Brutal. I mean, that, that day, it, it feels like yesterday. You know, just it's so vivid. I recall it so vividly because it was like so powerful in the most negative of capacities. You know, which is such a, such a sad, sad day. And then a John Cena. Oh my God! Yeah. Paige is here. Soraya is here. Hi. All right. Hello. Hi, Hi. Paige. She said, thank you guys for all the raids. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, all we right. love you. Team Paige. Yeah. What up, Paige? <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by. What a badass Paige is. <laughs> all right. We got Just some, twitching away. We got some very important questions here in the chat. One is from Kim. She wants wait, to know. Can we wait one second before we start this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Because the one, one thing I just wanted to say is one of my most uh, fond memories of Owen that we were talking about like back in the day. Mm. I'll never forget whenever they had the, was it a pig pen match maybe? With Henry God, Godwin and Hunter and they had all these pigs. So the deal was this now. they because I don't think I've ever told you this story. So, ah, gifted subs dude. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Soraya with the gifted subs. The house oh, party. Thank yay. you, thank, thank, you, you, thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. Five new members of the fam. Very cool. Courtesy of the one and only Soraya Official, guys. If you yeah. ain't following, but I'm sure if you here, you you there too. Uh, if you're come on, on let's Twitch, be. come on. Yeah, you gotta if be. you're on Twitch, <laughs> you are definitely up on there. But let's let's do this anyway. I hope it comes up. My sloppy ass. Here we go. <laughs> What's Soraya <laughs> today? All right. Hey, there Good she is. Work. There she is. All right. She had a bomb ass house too. I mean, you know me. I'm, I see people's streams and I'm like looking at the background at their houses. So she had a bomb ass oh, house. I know you do. I know you too. She, if Rebby's watching you, she's judging you. I'm telling you right now. If Rebby's watching you, she's judging you. You better have your shit in check. You shut the She's tough, man. Shut. All right. Tell us this shit. Owen story. I want right. to know. I want to right. know. All right. All right. So one one of the you know all this talk of Owen. This is so cool. You know, not only is he going to. Have this tournament in his name. They're going to do a complete toy line. I mean, he's going to have all the merchandise as well, right? AAW's doing it all. And, uh, you know, his, his family is all in on this. So it's going to be so cool. And his wife is. And I'm so happy that his, he just is such an iconic, amazing figure in pro wrestling history. He deserves to be honored and celebrated like this. So I'm so happy for that. You know, because I was able to, to, to know him personally. Olympic Flex, thank you for the sub. Welcome to House Hardy. What up? Hello, Olympic Flex. So anyway, back to the story we're saying about Owen, because everyone knows Owen was like a master of the rib. You know, he was a master of playing jokes on people and whatnot. That's and he's right. done that to everyone. So they, they built it this thing, Henry Godwin and Phineas Godwin. Uh, Henry Godwin's middle initial was O. So do you know what his initial would be, Rebecca? Uh, uh, Hog? Hog. Right. So his brother or cousin, his name was Phineas his brother, Godwin. His brother cousin. And his middle name yeah. started with an I. So do you know what his initials were? Oh, 
Oh, God. This is... I can't think this fast. Just tell me. Pig. Pig. Oh, wow. So it was hog and pig. Anyway, they were farmers. They wrestled in overalls. Oh, my God. So they built this match between Triple H, who was like an aristocrat then, and it was uh, Henry Godwin versus Triple H in the first ever pig pen match. So it was a match that was going to, you know, it was going to be full of mud. There were going to be pigs. And uh, you, you had to get thrown in the mud. That's how you won the match, I think. It was like a Thursday night at a dive bar. Woo! Yeah, mud so, wrestling! So, so you, exactly. Mud wrestling. <laughs> so anyway, when the guy got there at this show, when the guy got there at this show, mm. uh, the guy who was bringing the pigs, this farmer, whatever, who, they were renting the pigs from this guy. So he walks there and he says, all right. He says, well, I've got the trailer full of pigs out here. He said, we've got... You know, eight, however many you ask for, whatever. He says, uh, who, who's in charge? Like, uh, where, where do I need to take the pigs to be stored at? You know, oh, wh no. where do I drop them off? And Owen Hart, Owen Hart walked up. He said, hi, how are you? He said, I'm in charge. He said, oh, where, where, are the, where, where are the animals at? <laughs> and he said, yeah, come with me, sir. Come with me. And he walked over and he got him and he led the animals around. And where Vince's office was, and it said Vince, you know, Vince on the sign. He, like, took down the mid thing. He said, they go right in here. <gasps> and he <laughs> He sent him in all in Vince's office. So, like, all, all the hogs, all the pigs went in Vince's office. Yo! And then, like, they were going over something, and I'll never forget, like, you know, because obviously we were there as extras at this point. I remember, like, whenever Vince did come back to his office and opened up the door to go in, and, like, p hogs and pigs started running out, and his office was all messed up and disheveled. I remember he just turned around and said, Owen! <laughs> and he knew it was him. <laughs> he knew right off the jump. He put it in Vince's office. Who else would have the balls, though? Let's be honest. Oh, my God. I mean, that, that's some balls I mean, right there, man. He is, he is definitely the most famous ripster in history. <laughs> okay, it's not just me. Dr. Merkin says I never made that connection with their names. Oh, you know, I mean, that they, they, they addressed that on TV a few times. I mean, it, they... they they didn't hit, hit it over your head like they do on some things now, but they back then they did announce it. You know, once you know we could call him the hog, we could call him the pig, you know, Henry O. Godwin. But it, it was a thing. I know they didn't mention it on TV. But with that being said, was this question from that trader, Kim? Oh, God, that is so far up. I probably won't even be able to find it now. <laughs> well, then, Kim, type it in again. Because <laughs> I won't it because you have betrayed you me. You know what? I, I kind of have. I can give you this, the... The cliff notes. Of the it. general. Yeah, the general gist of the question. Like, give me the general did, gist. did you see uh, Chuck Taylor's dog backstage at Dynamite? That was Kim's question. <laughs> I think I did see Chuck Taylor with a dog. Hi. Why? I don't. <laughs> Why? Did you Did you ask this dog to sick me? Oh. Did you want him to bite me? <laughs> give me rabies. You already rabid, bro. You I am you rabid. <laughs> that dog would bite me. He would get the rabies. I am rabid. And that was hardy dog bite you. Yeah, I'm rabid. You, you bite dog back. I'm <laughs> rabid and proud of it. You know what I mean? Killjoy, thank you for that sub. Welcome to House Hardy. Welcome to the fam. Oh my What's up? Welcome, my man. All right. E everyone should know by now that the uh, the Hardy DNA has that indestructible gene in it. You know what I mean? We just we just take a look and then we keep on ticking. Yeah. The, actually, speaking of, and I put this on my Instagram story. I was I was literally we're, we're, as the kids stayed up late to watch your ladder match. Of course, it's on last. My luck, <laughs> right? Um, and they were jumping all around. Oh, sorry, and, I'm the main event. <laughs> Tried to go in first. <laughs> they were jumping all around. They were all excited, like jumping off the couch, right? And I'm like, stop jumping off of this couch, right? Just nonstop. We 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 we. X D D D D D D D D. And a little newborn girl. Okay, so imagine these three toddler boys watching wrestling. You can just, you know, you can imagine. So they're jumping off, and then here goes this motherfucker jumping off a ladder. And Maxwell was like, "Well, Dad is jumping," and I'm like. Yeah. Fucking touche, you little motherfucker. What, what do you say? Right. What do you say? <laughs> just let him jump off the couch. <laughs> so. you know, let, just let him flip out. <laughs> you know, let these little spot monkeys flip out. Get it out of their system. Then eventually they'll get hurt when they flip out and they'll learn how to work, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're raising no spot monkeys. Oh, my God. All right, guys. This is technically a QA and a stream. So if it you is, got any yeah. questions, you can put them uh, in the I chat saw, there. I saw one question from one of our loyals here. Ooh, what you got? Let me let me look it up. Yeah, I'm gonna we, I'm gonna pull it. We got real it on quick. Twitter. Ask Matt or what was the hashtag? Matt yeah, AMA. Matt, hashtag Matt AMA. Yeah, but if you hear, you can just go ahead and stick them in I, the chat. I do like that. Hey Kim, if you're out there, as opposed to asking about that dog, I just want to say, jumping off the top on that orange bitch like Matt Hardy. <laughs> okay. That's what I did on Wednesday. You know what I mean? Ooh, all right. Oh crap! It felt good. 
to put him through that table. Nice. You know All right. I mean? well, that was a little bit of payback for busting up my nose. Mm. Krauser has this question guaranteed here. Playing a stream loots card, you get your own at housepartytwitch.com. Okay. Krauser's AMA question is, would you like to work with Bray Wyatt again? Uh, yes. I, I would like to work with Bray Wyatt again. Um, I enjoyed, I greatly enjoyed my time working with Bray Wyatt. You know, I, I feel like uh, his persona would be a little different. It would be altered in the current uh, AEW. You know, I think mine had to be too. I think uh, when Broken Matt returns, I think it will be altered a little bit as well. It'll be, you know, tweaked some. And I think Bray's would as well. But at the end of the day, Bray is still young. He's uh, extremely athletic and extremely talented. And he's also very, very creative. And it would be so nice to see Bray in an environment where his creativity is actually listened to. And he has the opportunity to express it in his own way and, you know, kind of paint his own picture. I, I know that was one of the early things, right, with ever uh, at the very beginning of AEW where they said, you know, if you're a musician, we're going to let you play your own music. You know, so I feel like if someone is an artist, they get to actually create their own art. So I would love to see him there on a personal level. I like him as well. Uh, I, I, he's a very funny dude, very fun to be around. So, uh, so we'll see. But I, I would love to uh, see Bray Wyatt in AEW eventually. Breeze and Dilly Girls requesting a joke via Streamloot's card. Oh, you, got, you got one? I got one. Uh, okay, go. No, no, no. You got one. You do it. No, no, I, I don't. I was just going to mimic one from Maxwell that you told me the other day. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Mm. All right. <laughs> I like this joke. What What does a pirate call a bad hardy boy? What? Birdie. <laughs> Bird. Birdie. <laughs> Didn't you say Maxwell made that joke up? Maxwell did that on the fly, and I almost fell out of my seat when he said it because he that was dead ass. That was out of the mind of King Maxwell. He made that up himself. Oh, pasta check. Boom. Boom. Who was that boom. from? Boom. Oh man, I'm on the wrong. Boom, boom, okay, boom, boom. insane girl. All right, insane girl two eight nine six. Thank you for that. Hold up, look, I see Cam there. No, he's just really cute, and his name is Walter. Are we still talking about Chuck Taylor's dog? It must be his dog. <laughs> what, are we, what are we doing? Oh, here, here's a question I saw that I wanted to address. All right, go And for it's it. from Alicia. Hello, Alicia. What is Alicia's screen name on here? Uh, uh, Alicia Warren Princess, Alicia? Yes. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's it. Uh, she had asked, it said, uh, what was your favorite thing to do as a child growing up besides doing baseball and wrestling? And I was like, man, I want to answer that question because that, that is cool. So uh, when Jeff and I first grew up, our first initial love was baseball. And we were both pretty good baseball players. We both excelled in baseball. And that was like our initial dream of what we wanted to do like in our life as a career, like be baseball players. We want to be pro baseball players. That would be amazing. But it, as it turned out, whenever we saw wrestling and it was these living, breathing superheroes doing all this superhero type stuff, in the confine in the in the confines of a wrestling ring, we're like, oh my god, we want to be pro wrestlers. Now we've switched up baseball and traded in for pro wrestling. <laughs> but when we were young, before we got into all that, the thing that we love to do more than anything else is like explore our territory, especially when it's just our house. You know, all this area was wooded. Mm -hmm. Where Jeff's place is, that was all wooded, and you know, we have ninety some acres here at the Hardy Compound. Jeff and I love to explore the woods and all the different areas and w along with two of our cousins uh little jim and daniel we had a little group that we called the adventurers little jimmy <laughs> little i jim. didn't know y'all were related to little jimmy no no not, not, not yeah. that little jimmy oh not our truce little jimmy oh, no. he's a he, he's a distant cousin oh, he's no. not just a cousin he's Woo. not a first cousin he's a distant we who, got we got who, we got hey, mustard who, we got who, mustard who, 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 who'd this come from who i got to bury now <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you in just a second. Who, who already got a bear? This is from Tanya. Tanya wants to see the mustard. Guys, by the way, we got freaking mustard emotes. We don't have to use Veda Scott's anymore. Veda Scott got mustard, but we got mustard too. Hey. Tanya, <laughs> why would you do that to me? You know the most famous Matt fact of them all. Matt strongly, strongly dislikes mustard. And now I actually, I, th I thought you you cared about me. Hey, get that out of here. <laughs> Don't you play your little fiddle. Your little <laughs> viol. It's a fucking drum. 
dump it, bro. Your little fiddle. No, I, that's, you're thinking of Adam Page. No, 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 no. <laughs> that violin is what I meant to say. You know. Oh, here we go. When you're snoring, don't you play your little violin? Poor Matt Hardy has to eat the mustard. Look at him; he's so sad. Oh no. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect timing! Whoever perfect did that, timing. thumbs up. I think I'm gonna have to cancel my appearance tomorrow in Hickory. Oh no! I'm mustard sick. You know, it's a magic. Wow. All right, but <clears throat> back to answering one question. When we were little, we loved exploring the wilderness, right? And our dad was a tobacco farmer. So being a tobacco farmer, and we did it all ourselves, more or less. He would get some hired help. But, you know, we helped put in the tobacco, and then once the tobacco dried, it was strictly our family. Myself, my brother, our mom, and, and my dad. We would, like, cure it, and we would, like, you know, they bring it down out of the barn. We'd put it in there. We'd mash it up, and then we'd wrap it up in these big sheets as a bundle of tobacco. Then it would go to the market to be, like, auctioned off and sold. What's up, Sneaky? <laughs> Barty, Barty was just like this on the Barty was going. The shining style, right? What is that movie where they come through the door? <laughs> <laughs> he looks so creepy. Oh my god, oh, we gotta dance for a second. We gotta dance and then we're gonna do the tobacco story. Oh, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm trying to finish. Whoa! Time to go nuts here on these shameless cards! Hey! That orange bitch! <laughs> Jumping off the top on that orange bitch, Cassidy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. What do we got? All right. So anyway, whenever we we had these huge pieces of plastic that we'd put over the tobacco whenever we tied up in, in these big wraps, right? Mm. So they're big. I mean, you know, like they're, they're this wide. They're this wide, you know, and they're this tall. And then we'd take them on a the trailer. But we had to have these plastic sheets in, in case it rained because if, it, if this dried tobacco... Got wet, it's like not worth shit, mm. you know. So you have to keep it. It's very important you have all this plastic. No pressure. So our dad had all these huge pieces of plastic. So Jeff and I, we would go and steal these pieces of plastic, what? and then we would get hammer and nails out of his tool shed, and we would go into the woods and we'd find these crazy locations, and we'd take trees and we would build a hot out by Aww. like building walls around it That's cute. with the, these sheets, these enormous sheets of plastic. And every time we would do it, our dad would find it and we'd get mad. Like, especially if you put like nails in a pine tree, it'll like ruin the pine tree sometimes with the sap and whatnot. Wow. So you're and just out just, here destroying the forest, stealing well, tobacco. Well, pine tree. We didn't steal tobacco. We were stealing the plastic sheets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we would go, oh my God, like we would just scout and we'd find different locations. We're like, he will never find this hideout. And two days later, he would find it. <laughs> and then we'd get reprimanded and get our ass whipped with a belt. You know, but that was like our thing. We were the adventurers, and we loved more than anything else, like finding different areas on the property, which there was a lot of property, a lot of space, to build these very special hideouts. Beautiful. So then eventually we ended up building a hideout, like uh, in front of where Jeff lives now, out there where all those reeds are. There was a place in there that was a building that we just like built one that we could hang with. And you know where we shot that video for Mikey Rudkus's ghost? Yeah. Where we went upstairs in that barn? Ooh, yeah, spooky dooky. And there was the uh, desk in there? Yeah. That that area was our hideout for a while. That's where that came from originally. Oh, that's That so was cute. from years and years and years back. Like where we would just go and like during the day hang out. I mean, like obviously, whoa, obviously, you know, we, we didn't have internet. You know, we didn't have like super close neighbors you know we'd have friends come over once in a while but they would obviously have to be driven here it wasn't like we lived in a neighborhood we're like in the middle of nowhere in the forest so uh we spent a lot of time in these hideouts oh no this is me <laughs> this is you this is you mm. this is you mm. ow 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 <laughs> who did this oh pastor jack who is responsible for uh, this that was tanya again tanya's on a roll you, tanya's on fire why are you so mean to me tanya I try to be nice to you, but you're so mean to me. Oh, no. This is terrible. It's a travesty. Are you sad about it? Yes. No, I'm mad. I'm not sad. Don't, <laughs> don't play your stupid little fiddle. <laughs> your stupid little fiddle. I'm going to call it a stupid little fiddle instead of a stupid violin. Stupid little fiddle. Yeah. 
Utah. The devil went down to Georgia looking devil for a soda went, steel. Devil went down to Georgia looking for a baby master steel. All right. No, I don't. I don't want to steal any baby mask, man. <laughs> I hate this baby mask. Oh my god! I don't right. like it. Callum three five three asked, "How was your relationship with Crash Holly?" Uh, it was. Uh, it was. Good. I almost want to wait till I get out of this mask before I answer this question. <laughs> Whatever you want. So you give me just a second. Let me get out of this mask because I, I feel terrible wearing this. I can't even think right. My brain doesn't even function. I can't see. It's hard to breathe. My nose is already destroyed as it is. My One of my passages on the side of my nose is completely crushed. And now you're going in a baby <laughs> mask where I can't breathe. Guys, I'm loving all of these condescending, sad, Matt Hardy emotes. Oh, Y'all are no. putting on the chat. <laughs> Look, That's terrible. They've all got your little boo-boo face with the sad face. Stop that. <laughs> Delete, delete, delete. <laughs> that was a baby delete. I see what you did there. Delete. <laughs> all right, you're free. <laughs> delete. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Crash Holly, what's the tea? All right. <laughs> what's the tea? Uh, yeah, Crash was uh, very enjoyable to work with. He was uh, a, a very funny guy. Uh, whenever he would turn it on, you know, when the red light was on, when he's in front of the camera, he was super... Super entertaining, super charismatic. Like the stuff he did with Bob Holly when he acted like he was a four hundred pound super heavyweight was great. And then that time that I worked with him, he was he was really good and he was very good at like uh, self deprecating humor. And uh, he was so so cool and so easy to work with. When it was myself and Shannon, and Shannon was my MF Matitude follower, and he was his moron, like an uh, ah. MF or an MF or in, in training, you know, a Shannon more on. Uh, so so he was a lot of fun, man, and uh, I, I really enjoyed my time working the crash. One thing I can't say about him, he had a had an attitude. I mean, he had a, a temper. He had a, he was very he had a very short fuse, almost like. Uh, First of all, motherfucker, I'm over here, okay? <laughs> First of all, with your stupid little finger that's, pointing. That's, that's where I'm pointing. Your little, you point a finger, you got mad fingers pointing back at you. Just remember that. I'm, I'm pointing just at you. Rem just remember that over here, pointing fingers at me. Yeah. Pointing fingers at me. Short, <laughs> short trigger. I go to hell. Short fuse. Short trigger. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Me and Bob Holly. Yeah, Crash Holly. Crash Holly. <laughs> I saw Crash Holly got into it with Dave Lagano one time. I thought he's gonna beat him up. <gasps> what we, happened? We, we had to pull him out of there. What happened? I. Trying to throw hands on Steve from Blue's Clues. Cr creative, creative differences. <laughs> oh no. It was in the garden too. I remember that. Oh. Cut a promo on bit. Tanya via Streamloops cards. Guys, you can get your own cards at HouseHardyTwitch.com. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And you got a deletion from Gibbo Wibbo Hibbo. You lubricate them vocal cords here. Tanya, you sit there. You think you're funny. You think you're cute. You think you're witty. You're going to try and make me eat a little bit of mustard. You're going to try and make me wear that stupid, idiotic baby mask. And you think it's funny? You think it's entertaining? Ah, it is not entertaining. It is not funny. Not in one little bit. Not one iota of it is. It's disgusting. It is disturbing and it is insulting. And I'll tell you what. The next time I see you, I'm going to have to sentence you to deletion. Ooh, speaking of deletion, get my webo hibo. Gets a deletion. 10,000 channel points. Gibbo, Weebo, Debo. Thank you for being here with us and collecting all them points. You've been watching these streams and we love and appreciate you. And now you're about to get deleted. Give me this man's name again. It's Gibbo, Wibbo, Hibbo. I don't know. I don't. Hi don't. Gibbo, Wibbo, Hibbo? <laughs> yes. Yes. Gibbo, Wibbo, Hibbo. You, my friend, have said that your old vessel is antiquated. Quite, yes, it is outdated, it is passe, and now I must ask the seven deities of Brohel, of Narek, of Gustavo, of Charles, of Serco. Yes, I must ask them to take your vessel and send it to deletion! Delete! 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 <laughs> you now have a chance to start anew. Do not squander this opportunity I have given you. Yes. Wow. And now Ashley BM, Ashley Baby Mama, Ashley Ben Muted, Ashley Big Money. She she's invoking the spirit of Broken Matt. Get yeah. to a broken stream here in a second. Yes, Ashley, broken mama. I must ask you, 
Why do you wish to evoke the broken mind? Yes, you should not wake up a sleeping hornet. Yes, because sometimes when you shake that hornet's nest, sometimes the hornet comes out and it strikes you faster than you can even realize, faster than you even know. But now, Ashley, yes, I am very 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 happy to learn you are on the side of the light you are on our side of the great war and i shall i shall stand side by side with you on the front line yes all right shake it out yeah shake it up shake it up shake it up all right all right there he's back Woo! all right candace this comes from twitter here sammy babe asked does it sammy babe i, th I think something like is that like sammy guevara babe? i show sure up not are you still blown away in a good way, of course, that you finally have a daughter? Hashtag Matt AMA. Uh, yes, I am very blown away that I have a daughter. It's almost surreal because I, I feel like I'm very used to having children, but you realize like this is a different child. It's a different baby. And it, and it really is very different. Like I was just saying today, we had an appointment where uh, myself and my lovely wife had to go to Raleigh. And during the time of this appointment, she went in and I was watching Evie and Evie woke up. She got upset in her car seat and then I was holding her. And like, as I was sitting there, I would take, you know, Maxwell or Wolfie or Barty and I'd hold them on my shoulder close and I would look at them and I would rock them, you know, and I'm holding them close to me. They can feel my heart. I can feel them, whatever. And they're good with it. But she was almost like, nah, nah, dad, that, that ain't enough. I need some eye to eye. I need eye contact. <laughs> and I would have to hold her out and I would hold her hair and look and talk to her. And it's like all this, like, if I would do anything about hold her, even if I was rocking her hair and then I'm like responding to a, a message or like even looking at my phone or like watching something on my phone, she's like, uh-uh, no, 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 no. All the attention on me. <laughs> all the attention on me, motherfucker. Come on. Straight here. Right here. Right here. And uh, she really is. Her personality is very different from the boys in that capacity. And I was just telling her, like, you could definitely tell she's a girl. It's like, she... When she asks for attention, she wants like full attention. Good for her. She you know, deserves it. Well, she you she demand that attention. You know she she does she does demand it. Mm. They, ain't, 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 ain't no uh, ain't no skipping out on any of that. Like <laughs> when you, when you give her attention, you got to go one hundred percent. Ooh, Shady Killer Seventeen asked, "Do you still have on VHS your first Hardy Boys tape from WWF?" Uh the the first Hardy Boys match. I guess. I, I guess you're saying. Know. I, I would imagine, I mean, I have all these things that are locked away in a room and something that we have talked about in the past that we need to do is like send all these VHS tapes over to get all this stuff put on digital files so that we could watch it at any time, you know, so that we could play it on here if we wanted to or, or whatever the case may be. But yeah, the, the original stuff that we did in WWE, I want to say we do have recorded. Our dad was really good about that. He would go out of his way to, you know see where we we're going to be wrestling and he would record us on a vhs tape back in the day uh so a lot of our matches where we did like enhancement work or extra work were recorded on vhs tapes and our dad would stay up and record that even though we typically went to bed a lot earlier so we do we do have a ton of that a, a ton of stuff not only our early WWE stuff but early like ecwf and uh early omega stuff and nfwa and also pwf stuff when we work for stallion for free so we could go to tvs and give him 66 percent of our money you know which the big inspiration behind uh, big money matt currently so yeah there's a ton of stuff on vhs that i really would love to get transferred over to being just digital files so we could utilize that whenever in the future ads 99 asked do you remember kane's first match on raw with you and jeff uh, I think you're referring to Kane's first appearance because Jeff and I were in the ring, uh, advertised to wrestle a tag team match against uh, another team. And before the other team showed up, all of a sudden Kane's music hit. And it was the night after he debuted at Hell in a Cell against Shawn Michaels. If my memory serves me correct, I'm not 100% sure. But he came to the ring and we tried to fight him off. And ended up he knocked me... Slammed me out of the ring, whatever the case was. And I think he press slammed Jeff and threw him out on me. And like Jeff landed on me and teabagged me in the face as we were laying on the floor. <laughs> he teabagged you on the face? Like, you meant to say that? I, I meant to say that. We, we, did, we didn't mean to do that, but that is what it ended up looking like. I mean, if someone has that clip or gift, I'm sure you could probably look that up online and see it. But yeah, like when, how do you search it, that? Jeff Hardy teabags Matt Hardy? What? what? No, you put, you put uh, uh, Kane attacks Hardy Boys. Okay. 
I'm sure I'm sure you can find it. But when he presses Jeff and throws him on me, it's just like I'm trying to catch Jeff as he's coming down and he hits and like Jeff's crotch is like right in my face, laying on top of me. Oh. So okay. it was disgusting. Those guys guys were related. Or good, blood. Good times. Joe Haas asks, whose um, entrance music, past or present, is your favorite? Other than your own. They already knew you were gonna say your own. Other than your own. Um oh my god. God, that's really that's that's a tough question. I don't know. Yeah, uh, I mean, bangers. when you think about when you think about uh, what's that? There's a lot of bangers. Uh, yeah, a lot of <laughs> bangers, as the kids say. I mean, not even just just speaking about just music in its own. Just like the Undertaker's entrance ended up being a huge deal, and I think his music played a big part of that. I mean, that, that's like one of the coolest entrance musics where every time you see it, I mean, it feels like special and magical, I think. Um, Bray, Bray Wyatt had really cool music, too. I was a big fan of Bray Wyatt's. I loved actually coming out of that because that, that was a cool song. I remember like whenever I wrestled against him as Woke Him at Hardy, I'd be in, be in the ring half ass jamming out to his music because he was coming to the ring when I was in the uh, ring waiting to, to fight him. Uh, so he had a good song as well. Ashley, thank you for getting that pack. Sassy girly, what's up? Sassy girly? All right, what else do we got here? Let me see. Who was? No, we got that. No, we got that. I'm going to search no, that hashtag that. real quick. You hey, see. Funny, I, I, Twitter's dead, bro. And ain't nobody on that bird app no more. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. I'm just checking. All right, Dr. Merkin asked, was your dad a fan of wrestling before you and Jeff? No, not at all. Uh, our, our, our dad hated that we did that because, like, our dad was a very basic uh country dude like you know sun up to sundown work hard all day and that's it and he had worked part-time for the mail service you know he was a rural letter carrier which translates to a mailman and he he did that he got that job and it was part-time he had it part-time for 13 years where he only worked every other saturday so he made very little money off of it but he got benefits so he had like insurance so that was kind of how we survived earlier on and then we farmed that was our means of income but once we first started wrestling and even when we'd make long drives like to go to philadelphia or new york area or there was one time we drove out to memphis area and you know we're in the middle of america and we had drove the whole while whenever we got back he's like oh well you know you guys have been gone for four days like how much money do you guys make we're like oh you know we got you know made 25 dollars you know three times he's like 75 dollars for everything he said well i mean is that, that all the money you made I said, well, I mean, but by the time we, you know, bought gas and paid for food and stuff, you know, we, we went in the hole. And he said, he said, you dumb son of bitches. He said, you need to go out and you need to take the civil service test. You need to get your job as a, as a rural letter carrier like I am. So you'll have some, some health benefits and some insurance and, and whatnot. He said, you can't do this damn wrestling shit all the time. He said, because like you, you do this and you're just going in the hole, not making any money. He's like, I'm going to tell you right now, that stuff you see on TV, it's fake. It's fake. And I was going, I mean... We we do it, eh? We kind of know we kind of know about it. We kind of know how this works, pops. <laughs> and uh, he was so adamant about oh, that. Oh, there's a raid! Fightful and Gaming, thank you, Fightful Gaming. Welcome, welcome, Raiders. If you're new here, make sure you hit that follow button. It is a free way that you can support the stream, help out the channel. We are doing a Matt Hardy AMA right now. What's your daddy said? And uh, and and then on, on top of that, you know, uh, we'd already been doing TV stuff at WWE, so I mean, so we'd been like to the to the show. As far as that goes. But he was just, you know, very much, uh, you know, he didn't believe in what we're doing necessarily, especially because, like, we weren't producing anything, especially financially or income-wise. And that's very understandable. If you had kids doing something that you didn't have any idea about, you would probably question as well. I would. I would question if our boys were doing something and they were, like, losing money and maybe they were going to get hurt or whatever. Oh, my God. You know, yeah. I mean, it was obviously something you would question. But then after we, we made it and we succeeded, he, like, grew into, like, our biggest fan. And he, like, embraced it so heavily. He had Hardy Boys stickers and stuff on everything. And, you know, he would proudly tell everybody to run to, yeah, I'm the Hardy Boys daddy, you know. So he had a lot of fun with it. So it, it was it was cool. It was cool that, you know, he came around and he understood that, you know, we worked pretty hard to achieve something that a lot of people don't really get to do, and, and we were able to kind of pull it off. Martin, so. 115, thank you for that sub. Welcome to House Hardy. Welcome to the fam. Again, thank yeah. you, Fightful Gaming, for that raid coming in hot. Thank you guys so much. All right, we got some Stream Loots cards. We got a broken mat. Tanya would like to summon the spirit once more of oh, no. Broken Matt. Ooh. 
Yes, Tanya, I must ask you. I know you are up to some very nefarious things this eve. I know you have asked me to take this dastardly mustard, which is absolutely disgusting. It is, uh, it is just repulsive. It makes me absolutely apoplectic. And I don't know why you would do that to me, because I try and stand in the sight of light for you. I try and be your ally, because I do not want you to... Fade away in glass of eye, yourself is obsolete, obsolete! Uh, you, know, you uh. gotta talk like a pirate! You gotta talk like a pirate from Mrs. Cracker, via stream loose card. Arr. I like your Barty now, Barty. What? <laughs> All I think about now is Barty, Maxwell's joke. I was gonna get to that. <laughs> Mrs. Cracker! How you doing this evening, matey? I hope you've been a good little girl. Because if you haven't, I'll have to make you walk the plank. We've already got one man who's going to have to walk a plank because he's been a very, very bad baby. His name is Barty. Bro, you sound like a drunk Santa. Uh, <laughs> that was again. Better than nothing. Oh, boosting cop. Do you think Willow will make an appearance on SmackDown? I don't know. I saw a lot of people uh a lot of people have, you know, come to that conclusion after his promo where he said maybe it's time for me to accept kind of a different ego or whatever it was he said. Uh I don't know. Maybe it's possible. Uh, the the only thing I I have to say, just knowing WWE so well, it's it's hard to have a lot of faith in them to let him do something so outside of the box. I hope he does, and uh, I hope he gets the opportunity to do it. I know he he loves Willow, and he digs Willow, and he's so committed to the Willow gig. I would I would love to see him get the opportunity to do it. I think it'd be very cool. So right, well. I, I I gotta I'll be honest. I do not know. I haven't even had the conversation with Jeff. I haven't spoke about it in any capacity. But it would be cool if it happens. We'll see. All right. Dead Bodies asks, have you ever thought about getting a tattoo? I have. I have thought about getting a tattoo earlier on. At one point, if I was going to get anything, maybe the Hardy Boy symbol, because it was just such a big part of myself and Jeff's life. And it like represents us kind of like achieving our dreams and aspirations. And then the other thing I thought about getting tattooed would be something that is like a representation of my kids whether it be their names or something that, you know, relates to them in some capacity. I, I, I feel like, for me, this is me personally. For me to have a tattoo personally, which I don't have any right now, and I'm old as shit, uh, <laughs> it'd have to be something that you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that you are going to carry with you and be proud of and want to represent on your flesh for the remainder of life. I mean, that's that's just me. That's that's my standpoint, you know. Cute everyone, Mural Bass, thank you. Er, everyone has different opinions on that, but that that would be mine. So those are probably two of the things that I know I will always hold dearly to my heart. Bitch, so what? But Rebby, Rebby, <laughs> right here, right here is a nice little spot, Rebby. You gotta let these bitches know. Short fuse. Shut the fuck up. That's not my tattoo. I'm gonna put short fuse. Oh, yeah. thank you. Uh, Ashley BM, you got a tweet coming to you after the stream. Playing that stream loot Twitter card. Thank you so much. We got another card that we actually skipped over there for a second. Almost skipped over. You have to imitate an impact wrestler of your choice. This one's from Tanya. Oh boy, an impact wrestler of my choice. I don't even hardly even know anybody that works for Impact nowadays. Well, half, half, what are you talking about? Half of AEW works for Impact. Who? Like who? Is half these AEW people not on Impact every other week? Or am I watching the wrong program? You watching the wrong program. Wait, what? Impact's DNA, right? Wait, hold on. Is it, Impact not DNA? Yeah, there's, there's no AEW people that go over there now, though. Besides Christian. I mean, he's the champion. So do Christian! See? Do Christian... I mean, you know. <laughs> he always does this thing with his eyes. Robert De Niro impersonation here. Yeah, okay. There you go, Christian. Where's my peeps? Eh? Hey. hey. Where's my peeps, eh? <laughs> Not the A. Ain't that right, Daddy? <laughs> he would say that a lot, too. Oh, it's gooder than hell. Oh, no. Those are like inside Matt Hardy. 
Christian Cage jokes. Jeez. All right, guys. I know there's a bit of a lag. Thank you guys for sticking with us. We do live in the middle of nowhere, as Matt mentioned earlier. Uh, nothing we can do about that, but if you're still here, thank you for sticking with us. Also, if you're new here, make sure you hit that follow button. It is a free way that you can help out the stream, support the channel. Lots of fun stuff planned for the month of October. We're going to get into our spooky dookie costume streams. It's coming a big up. month. Big month here. We've got good pinball stuff coming up. We've got, uh, I don't want to, I want to stooge it off. I don't want to blow the surprise. We've got a lot of good stuff coming here. So th <laughs> thank you for sticking with us here. We'll make it worth it. We'll make it worth it. All right. What are your, what are your yep, yep. thoughts on the week in wrestling? Um, Final thoughts. I, I think it, I saw some statistics that were out today, just comparing AEW and WWE and Variety just did an article. Uh, saying Vince McMahon has got something he hasn't had in over 20 years competition, which is, is cool. Wow. Uh, and it also said, like, WWE people, there's been some study that people had done where WWE people are talking a lot more about AEW now as opposed to AEW people talking about WWE is happening less. But anyway, there's been a lot of growth in AEW since all these huge debuts happened in September-ish, August and September. Uh, that would obviously be CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, Adam Cole. A lot of things happening. Uh, I guess you could throw Ruby Soho in there as well. But like with all these debuts and just all the momentum that AEW has going currently, it's it's really cool that there is another mainstream wrestling promotion which gives uh, guys and girls an opportunity to to work somewhere else and also make a really good living while while doing such. So uh, that, that's very cool, and that is something that WWE needs. I feel like since Monday Night Football and since AAW has been uh, so hot recently, I feel like WWE is, has worked hard to step up their game, which is good. I think uh, both promotions working hard to always and constantly step up their game is a good thing. And I think it's just an especially good thing for the fans at home, each and every one of you that are, that are watching week in and week out. So I think it's a very exciting time, uh, especially because people are back and – Pro wrestling just wasn't pro wrestling without an audience because an audience is truly part of like our product, the oohs and ahs and the cheers and the boos. So uh, it's it's an exciting time in pro wrestling. Uh, I'm very fortunate to still be doing this uh, at this age and during this this uh, time where it's a it's a very hot point of, of pro wrestling. There's a lot of good stuff going on. Gem story, Surprise, thank you. Motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> I love sorry, dokes. Gem Story, thank you for being here. First time watcher, appreciate you. A lot of first time watchers here today. Make sure that you come on back, guys. Lots of fun stuff. All right, you, we're going to hit... Oh, what you got? I was just going to say, one one thing I was going to say is when that James Dokes... What is this? <laughs> you got to talk like Mario. Ah, oh, talk like Mario. Mamma mia. You got any... Uh, you got any... Uh, you got any meatballs? Mamma mia, you got any meatballs over there? Sound like Tony Soprano. Uh, it's close enough. <laughs> uh, take it easy. Where's the gabagool? Yeah, where's the gabagool? Take it easy. Can I just make this into a Tony Soprano coin? <laughs> take it easy. You get the gabagool? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God. So, uh, <laughs> uh, the thing I was going to say is when that Dokes image popped up, I've been re-watching uh, Dexter season one. And uh, James Dokes, Sergeant Dokes, is just so, so good in it. God, what a great TV character. So entertaining and just such a fun character. Such a fun foil Surprise, for Dexter. Motherfucker. There he is. <laughs> He's the best. He really is. I, I, I love him so much in there. I can't tell you how much I love him. And I also love how, like, all of the people that Dexter killed, like the, the little kills, not the, the big bad in the season one series, uh, all the smaller kills he made, like uh, George Castilla and uh, the psychiatrist and uh, uh, Sa uh, Sam from, uh, what was his name on True Blood? Who was the shifter? Oh, I don't know. Uh, Sam Tremble, I think, is his real name. And I feel like his name may have been Sam in the True Blood, too. But anyway, the shifter was in there. He was one. Uh, but but all, all these villains that he like disposed of all had really good, strong stories, like in their small stories. You know, and the big arc overall, the big bad is the ice truck killer, you know, which ends up being Dexter's brother, longest brother. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, enjoying the hell out of it. And you you mentioned Sopranos earlier. I had downloaded the uh, the Mini Saints of Newark, and I, I watched it. Uh, I, the very end of it, I was kind of falling in and out of sleep. It was late for me. It was like 
10 p.m. So super late. Yeah. I was tired. Uh, but I think I enjoyed it. I don't know. I got to watch it again to have a very clear understanding of it all because I was too tired. I was really run down from last weekend. It was uh, quite an aggressive weekend for sure. And uh, I probably better get all my stuff done tonight so I can get some sleep. Uh, I know you're going to try and help me out and give me sleep early and let me go drive up to the airport and then uh, get on over to my parents. I'm going to be there bright and early in the morning at Hickory, North Carolina, three hours from the Hardy compound. Nice. To meet and greet and make everyone happy. Oh, all That's right, what guys. I do. Make sure that you check out shophousehardy.com. Get all your house hardy swag. You can also head over to househardytwitch.com. Get your stream loots cards. That's how you can control the stream, win prizes, all kinds of fun stuff. Do mustard shots. Who doesn't want that? Me. <laughs> oh my God. All right, guys. We're going to end up rating someone from Impact, which I was apparently so confused about. My bad, my bad. But this person I actually know is on Impact. Thank you, Leo Robaz, for them cheers, for them bits. Who are you going to rate? We're going to rate our friend Jessica. Jessica Havoc, all right? Okay. One half of the women's go. tag team champions. Nice. Love that. All right? Keep the conversation going on Discord, exclamation point Discord, for that link. We've actually uh, now new here. We've got a TV talk. So yeah. you, you might want to jump in there. Yeah, people love talking about all, what they're watching and suggesting and reminiscing and all I that. Love, I like TV talk. New TV talk channel on the official House Party Discord. Like I said, exclamation like point Discord for that link, guys. Thank you so much. We will be back with another stream very soon. House Hardy out.